Anita, can you tell me why you're standing here, City Hall Square, in a white tent and looking at something called Green Vision, Grunt Vision? Yes, that's because we want to tell the world about uh, sustainable energy technologies. We are uh, we're a student organization from DTU in, Le, in Lyngby here in Denmark and uh, in Copenhagen. And we, uh, we make uh, material, teaching material for high school students uh, about these technologies. And then we've made this, uh, what do you call it, uh, conference, I don't know what you call it here. Uh, right, exhibition. Exhibition, yeah. I guess is the right word. An ex exhibition where, where students come and uh, they, we uh, tell them about sustainable energy methods. We tell them about uh, fuel cells. We tell them about biomasses and wind energy exceptions. I'm standing here at this uh, uh, green energy sources where we where we're telling them about new energy methods, which are not they're not up yet. They're not so many. There's not they're not they're no. not in the world right now. Uh, there's about um, about except water energy, like from from waves in Wa the sea. Uh, from, uh, um, wave energy, which is like yes. like that, yeah. exact, exactly, yeah. and then and they're actually doing it in Portugal right now, and it's it's really exciting technology because the potential in wave energy is huge. We could cover the whole energy source from waves to the whole world. That's that's really great. And then there's uh, some um, uh, tide time. Some what do you call it? Tide waves. Tide Tidal. Wave? Tide? Tidal. Yes. Tidal. Yes. Uh, this is actually some of the students. We had a camp in the in the vacation here in the autumn vacation. We had a camp for students in the, in high schools, and um, they made some visions about what they would do about the future. And they were asked what would they do with the with the, the foreign countries, which called the third world countries. And here they tried to tell how they wanted to help Africa, because Africa as a world is not. Is, they don't have a lot of knowledge about how. To, to get the energy from where to get it from, and this is what they they wanted to do to make some <laughs> some yes, this is your, your chemistry student. So, using uh, wastewater, you, where where algae yeah. algae have grown, and yeah. turning that into what into clean water, yes, and exactly. into algae pills, pills or, or whatever. What yes. do they be used for? I, I, I don't know it actually because that's that's uh, what's uh, that's our biotechnology. That's what they use this yes. for. So I actually don't know what they want. But the main point is the one I use algae for making clean water for Africa. And I, I think actually some algae pills are, there's some energy in it that you can use at some point. I'm not sure, but I think that's what the, yeah. the main causes yeah. purposes. Okay. So, and yes? well, here we got what geothermal energy. Yes. Geotherm energy. It's uh, it's not really used that many places in the world. It's used about 20 places in 20 countries. I don't know, and it's it works quite well. It it may cover if we use it in huge scale. It'll cover two to three percent of the world's energy uh, use. So it's it's not got, it hasn't got a huge potential, and it's hard to do because it's. It's risky because you don't know where you're supposed to digging for this water. You 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 kind of make an explosion deep in the. You make an explosion four kilometers down in a in a cliff. Yeah. yeah. And then you uh, heat up the water with the uh, with the heat from the cliff because it's about 200 degrees Celsius down there. And then the steam, you would dig it up in another digging another hole. But the problem is you don't know where the steam has got after you've blown this hole. So it's it's a it's risky. It's experimental stage. It's exactly it's experimental and it's not that good. So yes, that's what we use here. Another thing is fusion. We don't tell much about fusion, but well, it's, it's got huge potential. Yes, fusion. But <laughs> the stage in research right now is that you only get as much energy out from fusion. As the, you put into it, so the, the gong means all change. The the, huh? the gong means all change. The, the <laughs> yes, high school the students have to move. Uh, exactly, yes. that's for the students to know that they're supposed to go to another place. <laughs> um, but so. fusion energy is going to be much harder than than fission energy. What we we know now is yes. is uh, nuclear power stations. Exactly, this is far harder. It's much harder, yes. But there will be less waste, I understand. Yes, uh, there won't be any uh, what you call like waste from like from fission. There won't be any waste like that. It's 
it's it's much more energy clean. I don't know. You get much more just energy out of it. So it's if this thing happens, if they prove or if they make it happen, it'll. I <laughs> bite my head off. That's gonna be what we're gonna have use uh, all our energy. That's gonna be where all our energy comes from. But do you I'm have sure. any idea when? This might be realistic. I've heard oh, figures that say the middle of the century. 30 years, say, like 30 years, maybe. Mm. That's what they are. They all say. Uh, right now, they've only got as much energy out of it as you put into it. But it's expensive, like nothing else. Uh, to to make this happen, you must reach a temperature of millions of degrees Celsius. It's it's enormous. It's huge, and it costs lots of money. There's also a lot of money put into it because. Uh, this is what people want to research and what what firms want to want to put money into, but it's not going to happen, not by now. Okay, Anita, how do you see the future in 20, 30, 40, 50 years' time? We've got climate problems, yes. we've got energy problems, we've got a growing population in the world. Mm -hmm. Can we solve these problems through technology? That's a, that's a final gang gang as for <laughs> ending. Um, it's really... Interesting question because I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm sure we're gonna find some way to not use all these fossil fuels like coal and what do you call it? Coil? Oil, coal, coal. coal. Yeah. yeah. We're not. I'm sure we're gonna find some way. I don't know where we're gonna find it. I, I don't know. Everyone in Denmark says we're gonna use wind energy. I don't believe in the wind energy. I don't believe that that's what we're gonna use in 20 years only. I believe that we're gonna maybe fusion is the way. Um, Maybe some way of working together with the hydrogen and uh, and the wind and solar power is gonna it's gonna work. I think solar is gonna be bigger than wind energy, but I don't know where we're gonna get our energy from. It's a big question. It's a huge question. Okay, Anita from DTU, thank you much indeed. Michael the Dane of the Copenhagen Voice at uh, City Hall Square in Copenhagen. This Euro, uh, uh, sorry, this. Green Vision exhibition lasts until tomorrow, Saturday afternoon. It's got to stop. <laughs>